Under the KCB Made in Uganda project, the bank together with Uganda Small Scale Industries Association have entered an enterprise skills training partnership that will see over 260 disadvantaged rural and urban cottage industry entrepreneurs acquire skills to run their enterprise better. We are going to sensitize them. We are going to work with the Casita and Casita. We are going to work with the service providers who have agents here. We are going to work with UNBS to ensure that people are sensitized. We have realized that people were not sensitized. That's why we went to do this program. We also empower these people, our partners, like the Isaias also, to carry out that sensitization. While officiating during the launch of the KCB Made in Uganda project, the Minister for Trade and Industry, Honorable Ameria Chambade, said that the ministry is ready to register the cooperatives and offer leakages to financial assistance. But the problem is that we don't brand them. We are going to brand them. We start branding like them made in Uganda. Yes. She also advised the small and medium scale enterprises to form cooperatives if they are to easily access microfinancing and accessing credit easily, adding that if the enterprises are organized in form of cooperatives, especially agricultural credit facilities from Bank of Uganda, it becomes easier. The skills training which is aimed at boosting the youth particularly and women with cottage industry skills to enable them to start or run existing businesses to produce local products. The managing director, KCB Bank, Albert Odong, said that the project would develop job and entrepreneurship-related competences training to develop disadvantaged small-scale entrepreneurs. What happens is we are injecting the money. You see has the infrastructure. As a bank, we cannot have the infrastructure to manage uh, the, uh, at grassroots level the, the trainees. So that's where the partnership with the UCI adds in value. They have the networks, they have the expertise, and we inject the capital. Uzia says that this is a chance for Ugandans in the SME sector to open new venices of accessing markets for their products, which will be improved in terms of quality with the trainings. Supporting small-scale entrepreneurs, you're adding value. You're increasing household incomes, people are having more disposable income to spend on education of their children, People are having more income to spend on health care. People are having more income to live a better life. So as an association, this is our goal, and we are grateful to KCB Bank for the support. We want to continue uh, to conduct about eight other trainings across the country so that uh, at the end of this program, by December this year, we should have trained 240 entrepreneurs. It is that we offer enterprise-based training, we offer practical training, we do follow-up, we do offer mentoring sessions. We assist them to save through giving them piggy banks from KCB Bank. And we are able to enable them access uh, more affordable financial services. This is to provide growth-oriented business development services to members and the private sector at large through the hands-on training and the sharing of ideas in addition to the contribution to the increment of incomes at household levels. Because the people program is already operational in Kenya, it's operational in Tanzania, we are part of the ESC. Our government has been under a lot of pressure to curb the impacts of substandard products and uh, the effects of substandard products are well known uh, to all of us and they affect all of us, including small-scale manufacturers. By the way, most of these counterfeits and substandard products eat into our local market. So we think that it is a good problem. There was an argument about the details, the cost and so on, but I think it was a small issue, $200, because if you are charging $200 per container, you subdivide uh, the profits that someone is going to make on a container and divide by $200, you find that it's actually minimal. We help even the traders to, to be deliberate in what they want to buy, because some of them are not, um, sometimes they go to, to purchase goods, but they are not sure of what particular goods they want. But at least this will guide them. Then two, they'll be getting standard goods. Then three, it will also help them speed up the process of checking. Because UNBS doesn't have the full capacity, if UNBS is to do it, to check all the traders, it's going to take a longer time. They have to pay demurrage, storage, they have to wait in the queue, they have to pay the 15%. So I would encourage them to embrace We have realized that all the small dealers, their goods are below $40,000. And this 220 caters for a container worth $50,000. So all these people fall in the group below 220. 
there is that 0.5%, which is also added to consider the bulk, because as you pay more, definitely the bulk increases. So the workload is even more of checking is even higher if you have to check more goods. So that is why they have that negligible fee, which is 0.5% of your cost, which is almost nothing. Ignatius Utaisire, UBC Business, Kampala.